Good morning, Namaste. My name is Alaksha from 7th Alpha Vidyanchal House. Today I am going to show you experiment regarding bubbles. So first what we need is glycerin, a straw, one spoon, some liquid soap and water. So first we will add some glycerin to this water. And mix it well. Make sure that all the glycerin dissolves in it. Then we'll add the soap in it. And we'll stir it well. So here, now our solution is ready. So now we'll put the solution on desk a bit. Make sure that we put the solution on desk properly and spread it everywhere. Now, now once we have spread the solution properly on desk, we'll start making bubbles on it. So at last, I would like to conclude that if there is only solution of soap and water, the surface tension will be high. So the bubble will not last for long. But if we add glycerin, the surface tension of the solution will become low and the bubble will last for a longer time. Thank you. Hello friends, I am Rajiv Gupta from San Vita. My experiment is on motion sensor. So let's start. Things need to make motion sensor. Sensor module, transistor, resistor, connecting wires, switch, LED bulb, battery and a base for mounting. When an object comes in close contact, then it gives signal to the sensor module which is connected to the battery and the bulb glows. Motion sensor is energy saving and can be used in the exterior of the home to keep animals and strangers away. Motion detectors are small electronic eyes that detects infrared waves heat wave, that is heat waves that radiate from moving objects when the detector senses an object moving across its field of view especially warmer objects like car animals and people it electronically turn on the light thank you everyone i am sandesha from bakri public school today i am going to show you an experiment that is coin soda bath so for this experiment we have to take a cup in that we have to take the vinegar solution and we have to take a coin with a dull surface so we have to put this coin into the vinegar solution so after few minutes so um, now we will take the coin out of the vinegar solution and we will wipe it with a cloth then we observe that the surface is uh, shiny and fresh the reason is coin is made up of metal and when it is exposed to air and moisture it becomes oxidized and then when uh, the oxidized surface comes in contact with the vinegar solution it uh, becomes shiny and fresh thank you hello everyone good morning i am sia sinha the seventh alpha and i am going to have a performance experiment on a candle and a balloon my aim is to prove that water absorbs heat faster than air and it is the highest specific heat liquid. So let's start with the, the experiment. This is an air balloon, this is a water balloon, and this is a balloon candle. First, we will the air balloon, close to the candle, and it will immediately burst. Huh? Hmm. Now we will the water balloon, close to the candle. Dust. The water balloon is not dust. Hence, concluding, water has a tendency to very quickly absorb the heat and it does not allow the rubber to heat the much 
and thus being the same. Thank you everyone. Hello, I am Harsh Mistri from 7th Gama Wapi Public School. Today I am going to show you something amazing. You know that gravity pulls everything downwards. But why this thing isn't going down? Let me tell you. These are magnets. Magnets have two poles, north and south. We know that like poles repel and unlike poles attract. Repelling of these light pole of the magnet makes the magnet fly is known as magnetic levitation. Here is a proof that there is no support between the magnets. Even if I put a heavy ball, the repulsive forces do not allow it to fall again. This principle is also used in maglev cranes also known as flying cranes. Hope you enjoyed it. You can also make it at your home. It is set up. Thank you. Good morning. Namaste. My name is Jai Bharadyora from 7th Alpha Vapi Public School. Today I am going to show you an experiment on hydraulic crane. injections are connected to each other and if we push the one injection the other injection needs to move it doesn't get the space to move and it makes the crane move thank you good morning namaste i'm kashri from 7th alpha today i'm going to do experiment based on apple oxidation as we all know that an apple keeps a doctor away but do we know that when we cut apple into two slices it turns brown why how when I am going to do the experiment based on it. My experiment name is apple oxidation. Materials required for it are pieces of apple, liquids, one is dilated lemon juice, baking soda water, vinegar, milk and salt water and one is anti-glass for my reference. And pieces of paper in which we have to write which liquid we are testing. Like how I have written one is vinegar, baking soda water, salt water, milk and lemon juice now here we go for our amazing experiment let's do it here after half an hour we have to put apples into a plate and one more hour we have to check and wait until the observations are done so we kept the apples in the plate for hour and the observations are like this. Now the science behind the experiment is that the apple contains an enzyme which is called polyphenol at oxidase. In short form it is known as PPO. PPO reacts with the oxygen in the air. When the chemical reaction of PPO and oxygen occurs millennium. Now the lemon juice. Lemon juice contains ascorbic acid and vitamin C which prevents apple from becoming brown. The vice versa means that vinegar does not contain ascorbic acid or vitamin C so it cannot prevent the apple from becoming the brown. Now milk. It does fairly well from preventing it from oxidation. Baking soda water. Baking soda water makes apple little brown faster because the alkaline is high pH level is present in it. That's why. Salt water. Salt water is amazing because the apple cells are present in the salt environment. Good morning, Namaste. My name is Chaladi Gavriya from 7th Beta and today my experimental smoke waterfall so for that we need a glass a fork and a diagonally 
फोल्डेड न्यूज पेपर एंड मैथ स्टिक्स एंड अगर सो फर्स्ट यू नीड टू पुट दिस पेपर इन द फोक and now you can see the smoke coming out from this side this is because uh, the pressure above is very is high because of heat and down it's uh, low that's why the smoke comes down Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Aditya from Eight Beta. Today I am going to show you two experiments which are optical illusions, and you will be very amazed to see that. This is a rooftop illusion. You can see it is a rooftop. Now we will place something on top of it. You will notice that. these two balls will not fall you will be amazed and you will be thinking that it is a rooftop now i will show you what actually it is you will see that it is a v shaped thermocol when we will place something on it it will not fall because it is v shaped This is another illusion. This is known as an amorphic illusion. It may seem that the V is floating, but actually it isn't. You will feel that the V is floating as I told you earlier, but it is just a piece of paper when you will see it from close. An optical illusion occurs when you see something in different form from what the object really is. The reason is there is an error in brain when the brain interprets what the eyes are seeing. In other words, your perception of an illusion has more to do with your brain. Thank you.